on South Florida's news leader. This is Today in South Florida on NBC6 HD. Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday, January 15th, pre-Friday, 2009. <laughs> Time is uh, coming up on exactly 6 a.m. I'm Bob Mayer. I'm Pam Giganti. Thanks for joining us. All right, let's turn things over right now to meteorologist Trina Robinson. She's in for Ryan today and has a look at the forecast. Hey, Trina. Hey, Bob. Hey, Pam. Hey, everybody. And uh, Bob, I'm going to put a wager with you. How much so do you want to bet that Pam will wear uh, a sweater and boots tomorrow and so will Roxy? <laughs> I would definitely bet, bet on Roxy, for okay. sure. All righty. You may have to buy me lunch or something. <laughs> okay. I'm going to win this bet. Hey, all of you might want to get out the sweaters and boots tomorrow because we are going to dip down, way down, uh, into the 40s in the western suburbs for tonight uh, and maybe... 50s for everybody else. So get ready for some cool stuff right now. Looking good outside. We've got some pretty decent skies out there. Some clouds will be moving in because the cold front that's going to bring us that colder air is moving through the area and will move on through completely tonight. But right now it's on the approach. Let's go to the satellite picture. You can see all that cloud cover just settling over us. So yeah, we're going to see some clouds today and behind the clouds we will see sunshine. Not today, but probably by tomorrow we'll get more of that sunshine breaking through as the atmosphere just burst on through with that cold air and clears out the clouds. So tonight, upper 40s again for the western suburbs and inland areas, 50s upper 50s for most everybody else. Friday, those winds will pick up behind the front and that chilly air will settle in. Weekend rather cool, both mornings and afternoons below normal temperatures. We probably will not achieve any records, but it's going to feel rather nippy out there. And uh, get the kids in those sweaters as they head to school tomorrow. Right now, we're at 59 already in Fort Lauderdale, so with a vigorous front coming in, we do have the potential of dropping on down to the 40s. Miami, 60 right now, 64 in Key West. And today we'll get up to a high of 72 degrees under partly cloudy skies with that front coming into the area. So how about the roads? Time to get the heads out of bed and get into the morning drive. Here's Roxanne. Good morning, Trina. Thanks so much. 6.02 is the time, Trina. By the way, you might want to have uh, Bob take you to Joe's because, you know, I wear boots at like 70 okay. degrees. So there you go. Live look at 95 and Griffin Road. Good morning to you. Nice coming for you here. We're accident free in Dade and in Broward County heading south from this point. 95 and Griffin Road all the way down to the Golden Glades. That'll take you now about 15 to 20 minutes this morning, depending on your commute time. Of course, you want to stay at speed, but moving pretty well. We do have reports of a transit bus that caught fire. Now, this is along US 441 or Northwest. 7th Ave. It is northbound, reported at Sunrise Boulevard. North of here on 95, we do have reports of a broken down vehicle. Northbound 95 at Sunrise Boulevard. Lanes were blocked. Should be pushed over to the shoulder at this time. In Dade County, things are moving well. I-95, that southbound volume starting to pick up on 95, traveling southbound out of the Golden Glades. There you have it. You'll especially uh, tap your brakes passing 103rd, Northwest 79th and 62nd Street. Those are the normal areas where volume starts to pick up. But at 602, not a bad ride. Commuting southbound from this point down to the 112. That's the airport expressway. That'll take you about 15 minutes, about 18 minutes continuing south from that point all the way down to Biscayne down in downtown Miami. That's the latest on your roads and your weather. Now back to your news. And we are following developing news for you right now out of the Middle East. The United Black Smoke is rising from the United Nations headquarters in Gaza City. A live picture now of the scene. Israeli shells damaged the organization's compound a few days ago, and at, th at least three people have been hurt. The U.N. chief is expressing outrage over the incident. Israel quickly responded, saying the shelling was a grave mistake. More than 1,000 Palestinians have been killed since the Israeli offensive began in late December. And we're not finished yet. That's the message from our state's lawmakers after approving additional deep cuts to try to balance the budget. Meantime, South Florida parents and teachers are taking matters into their own hands, protesting in a big way and small ways to draw attention to cuts in education spending. Steve Litz is live now from Ronald Reagan High School in Doral, where two moms are going into day four of a uh, hunger strike. Is that right, Steve? Bob, this, yeah, that is right. This is one of the more quieter protests. We were in Miami-Dade yesterday. It was loud with people raising their voices, but they're doing it silently here, Bob. Two mothers on a hunger strike, and you see 71 hours now, and this is all in protest of uh, budget cuts at the state level. Yesterday, the state legislature did pass uh, a plan to reduce the budget deficit, which is about at 
two and a half billion dollars. 466 million will be cut from education funding. That is a huge chunk. Teacher bonuses now will also be reduced by about 11 million dollars, and that specifically involves teachers with national board certification and also um, other reductions as well, some non-education related. You see what happened outside the Miami-Dade School Board yesterday. Uh, parents and teachers, they got together and they protested the state level cuts. And then those are the two women right there. They are on the hunger strike. Now, these cuts are happening at the state level, but we talked with one grandmother at the rally yesterday. It says it impacts her community. It's me because I have a grandchild in school and these budget cuts are going to affect him and his classmates and his teachers, the staff of the schools, everybody. It's a big picture. It's a very big picture. It's bigger than that. So people are active here in Miami-Dade County, and they'll be active in Broward County a little later this morning. Teachers up there will get together, and they will voice their opposition to budget cuts. That's going to happen at the Tamarack Community Center a little later this morning. Governor Charlie Crystal has to sign this budget or veto it by January 29th. We're live in Doral this morning. I'm Steve Litz today in South Florida. All right, Steve, thank you. A substitute teacher won't be in a Broward classroom anytime soon. 24-year-old Orlando Dagger was arrested on Tuesday during a traffic stop after police say they found more than 2,000 grams of marijuana in his car. Dagger worked as a substitute at Cypress Bay High School for four years. He will not be allowed to work until the investigation is completed. 6.06 is the time. The season hasn't started yet, but Miami City Commission is already thinking baseball. The commission votes today on whether to give professional engineering and inspection 100 grand for more added environmental work at the 40-acre Orange Bowl Stadium site, where the county and city plan a baseball stadium for the Marlins. The firm already got paid $700,000 for environmental work there, but is now asking for more money to do what it says is more work. President Bush makes his farewell address to the nation tonight. During the speech, the president will reflect on his eight years in office and the challenges facing our nation today. The president has also invited an audience to sit in the room while he delivers that farewell address. You can watch the speech when it airs tonight at 8 right here on NBC6. And we are just six days away from the presidential inauguration and President-elect Barack Obama is riding a wave of support into the Oval Office. According to the latest NBC Wall Street Journal poll, 71 percent of those who voted say they approve that the president elects or approve rather of the president elects transition. Also in the poll, a combined 74 percent believe that the recession will last at least another year and likely longer. Fifty seven percent say it will be over in three years, while another 17 percent say it'll go on for more than three years. NBC six is the one to watch inauguration day. We'll have complete coverage from Washington next Tuesday, January the 20th, beginning at 5 a.m. right here on Today in South Florida. In the meantime, the Senate Foreign Relations Committee is expected to give the thumbs up to Hillary Rodham Clinton for Secretary of State. Obama is also looking for his first legislative victory today with the release of federal bailout money. The Senate is scheduled to vote on Obama's request for the final $350 billion of the original funds. Coming up now at 8 minutes past 6 o'clock, more trouble for an Indiana money manager who apparently tried to fake his own death to get away from mounting financial and personal problems. Late yesterday, federal officials charged 38-year-old Marcus Schrenker with faking a distress call sent from the air and intentionally wrecking his plane. Schrenker was tracked down Tuesday night at a campground in North Florida after three days on the run. He's expected to appear at a Florida court by the end of this week. Pam? Well, reports and rumors over Fidel Castro's health continue this morning. The former dictator has not made a public appearance in two years. He has not had a photograph released of him in two months, and he hasn't written his newspaper column in several weeks. His failure to send any message beyond a one-line salutation to the Cuban people on his revolution's 50th anniversary, January the 1st, has also fueled speculation again that he is gravely ill. According to the Miami Herald, there will be no special events planned in Miami if Castro does indeed die. In the meantime, Cubans in Havana are welcoming comments by incoming Secretary of State Hillary Clinton that the U.S. may lift travel restrictions on families who want to visit relatives there. The move would be in stark contrast to the Bush administration, which tightened travel restrictions back in 2004. U.S. law allows Cuban Americans to visit family members just once every three years. Nine minutes after 6 a.m., Trina back with the weather in just three minutes. Right now, it's Roxy time and a look at the commute.
Bob and Pam, good morning. Good morning to you, South Florida, traveling on I-75. Well, here's a live look at your commute in your Miramar Parkway. A live look from my friends over at the Eastern Financial Building right off of 75. Nice commute for you, friends. Nothing much going on here on 75. We are accident-free. South on volume picking up there as you make your way into Dade County. Coming up, a complete check on your right to work or school. Also ahead, as much fun as it is to bash the top of your DVD player whenever your movie skips, Blockbuster <laughs> is getting serious about movie downloads. <laughs> Good morning, South Florida. Okay, first they call us boring. Now they're calling us fat. Not the PHT kind of fat, the FAT kind of fat. Coming up, I'm going to explain how another magazine has taken aim at South Florida's flocks. That story and much more when Today in South Florida returns. An important DTV tip. New TVs and converter boxes have a scanning feature that finds channels for you. After February 17th, some channels will be moving. Remember to rescan your TV or converter box so you get all the channels out there. Hi, I'm Flora for Dolphin Carpet and Tile. This weekend, travertine tile on sale for just $2.99 a square foot and we'll finance your purchase for up to 18 months with no interest and no payments. You'll love your new floor. Hi, I'm Jake Aaron Reich. A Jew Grows in Brooklyn is a story of hope. I grew up in the 60s in a Jewish immigrant family. I just wanted to be American, so I played baseball. And I loved rock and roll. Tumbling, I learned in the Catskills. I'm here to give you super sex. I'll take the soup. Come celebrate my journey from Brooklyn to Broadway in A Jew Grows in Brooklyn. I remember this lady, she wanted to surprise her husband because he's a big, huge football fan to make up for the fact that he made the ultimate sacrifice. He had to sell his season tickets in order to pay for the wedding. She wanted to give him the experience of being at the game at home. As I was showing her this stuff, she was like, oh my God, he's gonna love this. She got like a 60 inch, <laughs> it was a nice 60 inch shoe. I could imagine him just walking in and all of a sudden he turned to see this huge screen. <laughs> Two weeks later, they came back and he was just like, thank you. Just another love story at Best Buy with the 60 inch TV in the middle. My sinuses are so congested, I can't think. The pressure's keeping me up at night. My sinuses are about to explode. Introducing Sudafed PE Day and Night Dual Pack. Maximum strength relief of sinus pressure and congestion. Two different tablets relieve sinus symptoms so you can get through the day and rest at night. My sinuses are relieved. I feel rested. I feel like myself again. Sudafed PE Day and Night. Unblock your head. What can you buy with $5? A burger? A pack of cigarettes? How about health insurance? That's right, health insurance. If you have no health insurance or are responsible for paying for your own, Synergy Health has the coverage you've been looking for. Best of all, you may already qualify, regardless of most pre-existing conditions. For a little more than $5 a day and $10 a day for your whole family, you can have real health insurance. Synergy Health Preferred covers doctors, hospitals, accidents, pregnancy, labs, diagnostics, and more. This insurance plan even covers surgery with no annual limits or deductibles. And remember, with the Synergy Health Preferred plan, you're free to choose your own doctors and hospitals. If you enroll today, you'll get our prescription program at no additional cost. $5 a day helps buy you peace of mind, so don't wait another day. Call 1-800-420-5199. Call 1-800-420-5199. Call today. G'day, I'm Flora the Dolphin. This weekend, ceramic tile on sale for just 69 cents a square foot and we'll finance your purchase for up to 18 months with no interest and no payments. Ooh! You'll love your new floor. The inauguration of Barack Obama. NBC6 is your station for all-day coverage, all the South Florida celebrations, and Nick Bogart live in Washington, D.C., plus a complete wrap-up on South Florida tonight. The inauguration of Barack Obama, January 20th on NBC6 HD. NBC6 Weather Plus is always with you. Chief Meteorologist Paul Diano and the Weather Plus team, only on NBC6 HD. And now, meteorologist Trina Robinson with NBC6 Weather Plus, South Florida's first high-definition forecast. Well, good morning, South Florida. We take you to our view at Cocoa Walk, and pretty decent-looking morning out there to start you out, but by tomorrow morning, you'll need your sweater and maybe even a light jacket for some, and as the kids get off to school, they'll want to bundle up, too, because we do have 
a big cold front coming on in. So it's going to be a very chilly run for all my runners tomorrow morning. And boaters, the, the uh, water is going to be really rocky. So let's look at the satellite picture because we do have the front coming in. We already have quite a bit of cloud cover across the area. So we'll have a mix of sun and clouds today. You will see some sunshine, but plenty of uh, cloud cover courtesy the front. That burst of cold air gets here tonight. We will see some 40s tonight, particularly in the western suburbs and the inland areas, 50s in other areas. Friday, the winds will pick up behind that front and the chilly air will settle in. We'll see below normal temperatures, not probably records, but it's going to be rather nippy, particularly overnight for the next couple of nights. So 72 is where we're going for that high temperature day under partly cloudy skies. And again, still cooler than usual. We should be a little bit warmer this time of the year. We're at 59 in Miami. So with a vigorous cold front coming in, you know things can really drop off tomorrow night and Saturday night. So 57 in Opelika right now, 56. And these temperatures are dropping from the last hour. We'll see the same thing tomorrow. We'll start out uh, probably in the 50s. And then as we go through the morning into the early morning hours, you'll start to see some 40s crop up. Well, look at the temperatures in Minneapolis, minus 12. They had below zero temperatures all day yesterday. Just miserable conditions. But they still went to school and went to work and everything. So bravo to those folks. But maybe they might want to think about heading south. Uh, Great Falls at 20, Seattle at 38, Jackson, Mississippi at 33. So our next cold front will be knocking on the door later on today, bringing in some cool, dry air, also picking up the winds. Uh, the next front that comes behind that, that will impact the back end of the weekend into the early work week, will probably not keep us as cold. But again, we will see some 40s as we go into your morning hours tomorrow and tomorrow night. So 72 for the high temp today, and then we drop things down. So get ready for the big chill. Well, Hopefully you're chilling out on the road <laughs> with a cup of coffee. Here is Roxy with traffic. Thanks, Rena. 616 is the time. We got that right. It's a chill commute. Pretty chill out there in Dade County. Accident free. Nothing much going on out there. Just normal slow go. There you have it. At six Southbound on the 826 as you commute southbound from this point from the 75 on ramps on down to the 836 that right at this time will take you about 15 minutes. Now your northbound commute that's at the top of your screen uh, moving pretty well moving pretty well northbound maybe from this point you can hop onto the I-75 on ramps nice commute for you there and from this point all the way down to Miami Lakes in that area that'll take you about six minutes. Let's take a live look at the 836 because if you're hopping onto the 836 from the Palmetto here's what your ride looks like on the left of your screen that's the eastbound commute right near Milam Dairy Road. That's Northwest 72nd Avenue. Of course, that eastbound volume there, what? pretty heavy, pretty, pretty heavy. And as you hey. make your way eastbound on the 836 between oh, the Turnpike and the Palmetto on ramp, that ride will take you about 12 minutes. Continuing eastbound down to the I-395, the MacArthur Causeway, if that's where you're traveling, right off of I-95, that ride will take you about 18 minutes westbound, of course, moving very nicely. No vehicles out there. Not many people traveling westbound, of course. All right, at 616, I'll turn things over to Metro Traffic's Kristen Kelly with more in your Broward County commute. Thanks, Roxy. Good morning, South Florida. Chopper 6 right now, live over the scene, 441 northbound at Sunrise Boulevard. This transit bus was reported earlier on fire, and uh, right now it appears that they either have the fire out or maybe it was just a small one. As you can see here, police are on scene. It's not really causing too much of a delay for the area, but you will just want to watch out for it. You may have a couple onlooker delays as you move past the scene. Again, this is 441 northbound at Sunrise Boulevard. Let's take a look. 595 east and westbound. You can see here traffic moving well. We have that long-term construction as you head on to I-75 southbound from westbound 595. That's blocking the right lane. Go ahead and stay to your left. As you head eastbound, no accidents to report, making your way from Weston down to the airport. Your ride right now taking about 19 minutes. Over on the turnpike, all that construction is cleaned up and out of your way this morning, and things are looking good for 95 as well. That's the latest on your traffic and weather together. Now, back to your news. 618 now, time for your consumer connection. Asian markets sent into a selling frenzy this morning as gloomy holiday sales and concerns over the banking industry caused major declines. All Asian markets suffered heavy losses today after a U.S. government report showed retail sales dropped 2.7% in December, twice what analysts had predicted. 
U.S. futures also in the negative territory today. That will likely continue Wall Street's losing streak. It did not do well yesterday. The Dow Jones Industrials lost 248 points to close at 8,200. The Nasdaq Composite Index lost 56 to close at 1489. Blockbuster's going broadband. Blockbuster Video, grouping up with online video giant Cinema Now, says it'll be using joint technology to deliver movies directly to homes via high-speed internet connections. The move may help Blockbuster catch up with Netflix, which can pipe more than 12,000 movies and television shows right now over the net. Good Karma brings good Java. Starting January 21st, Starbucks will introduce a five-day promotional giveaway of free, tall, brewed coffee. But there's a catch. There always is. Customers have to fill out a pledge card for five hours of their time toward a local volunteer opportunity. Starbucks' move coincides with President-elect Obama's inauguration. The President-elect had called for a renewed commitment to community service to everyone in this country. That's it for business. Now, Pam. We all need some good karma, right, Bob? 6.20 is the time coming up. It's the F word being dropped all too often these days. Still ahead, we'll reveal the latest foreclosure numbers. And is it the real Miami Vice? And is it the real Miami Vice? And what are they eating? <laughs> Get it? All right, one popular magazine says our image is expanding, especially where the waistline is concerned. We'll check it out. Trina says that cannot be from here. Here's a look at our job of the day. Bright Services, looking for sales and marketing business development. Folks, if you're interested, go to our website, NBC6.net. Look at the teeth white. Watch the news at 6 tonight on NBC6 HD. Next week, one man in one moment will change history. And today will be there. The inauguration of Barack Obama. Join today live from Washington, Monday and Tuesday, only on NBC. I'm failing. No big deal. What about college? Face it, I'm not getting into college. Fighting doesn't work. You can't let him keep failing. Maybe he'll outgrow it. It's not just a phase. You saw his report card. Ignoring it doesn't work. Ma, uh, I said I'd do better. Saying it and doing it are two different things. Punishment doesn't work. What does work is the Huntington Learning Center. By improving basic skills, we build motivation and confidence, and kids look forward to learning. Call the Huntington Learning Center today. Your child can learn. Hmm. What are you eating? Multigrain Cheerios. So, trying to watch your weight? No. Why? Nothing. It's just the box. It says it's low in fat. Do I look like I need to watch my weight? No, no, no. It just says it has 110 calories per serving. Yeah, but there are other reasons why I, I like know, it. I know, I know. It's the box. It just says it's made with five whole grains. And that's good, isn't it? Mm-hmm. What else does the box say? The box says shut up, Steve. Multigrain Cheerios cereal. Because it tastes good. All right, class, let's button it. Becker. Here. Callahan. Callahan. Delivery confirmation on Callahan. Drop them off at 815. Gymnasium. No, sir, no Callahan. Always. No Callahan. Just a freshman. Thank you. No emails from his parents. Drivers, I need a 20 on Callahan. Got him. Reroute him straight to detention. Get more done now with a new BlackBerry Curve, the only BlackBerry Curve with Nextel Direct Connect. Next Ellen, new products as seen on TV. I invented Ellen's soap and breakfast bar. <laughs> Plus, one of Ellen's favorite kids. Next Ellen. Today on, on NBC 6 HD. Lisa, brand new Nissan Altima from only $129 a month for 24 months. Bill Settle Nissan, 10500 Northwest 12th Street, just across from the Miami International Mall. Canyon, redefining luxury living in Boynton Beach. Ultra spacious new homes and the ultimate lifestyle from the mid 300s. Take advantage of new price reductions on inventory homes. Canyon by GL Homes, an unbeatable location close to shopping, top rated schools and more. Visit eight new decorated models from the mid 300s on Lions Road, south of Boynton Beach Boulevard. Call 888-858-0101 or go to glhomes.com. Keep a little change in your pocket with 49 cent hamburgers and 59 cent cheeseburgers every Wednesday and Sunday at McDonald's.
experience the credit union difference. Start saving money on car loans, mortgage rates, and earn more on your savings account. Deposits are federally insured and there are fewer fees than banks. Don't wait. Visit NBC6.net slash credit union to find a credit union near you. January 20th, one man will change history, and today will be there. The inauguration of Barack Obama, live from Washington, only on NBC. You consider uh, Miami the big time, don't you? Yeah, of course. Well, we may be having a bigger time than most people realize, uh, and you're going to have to need a big belt to handle all that's going on. <laughs> Have I totally messed this up now? You kind of messed it up. <laughs> Basically, there's a group out there that says instead of being all hard bodies and sexy like Miami portends, yes. we're a bunch of fat fatsies, fatsos. Right? We're both messing Joe, it up. Joe, we've messed this up completely. Can you please get us out of this mess? I will, I will do my best to salvage it, guys. Well, Men's Fitness Magazine released its annual survey of the fattest and fittest cities across the country, and Miami tops the list of the not-so-fit. The man, uh, guys, you passed it on over to me now. <laughs> the magazine says 61% of Miami residents are packing on the pounds. Men's Fitness examines several factors before making its decision every year. Fittingly, U.S. Surgeon General Stephen Gallison just happened to be in Miami yesterday when the magazine's results came out, and he finds the conclusions a little hard to swallow. From what I see of Miami, people look great compared to other parts of the country. So that's my personal opinion. But I can tell you that these surveys are very, very helpful because they draw attention. They make people realize that action really is needed to be taken. According to Men's Fitness, Miami scores an A when it comes to the amount of fitness centers and sports stores it offers. But the study shows we have a high number of overweight people who watch too much TV, have way too many fast food choices, and don't participate enough in sports. We also spend too much time commuting in the car. Well, right now on our website, NBC6.net, we want to know what you think. Do you agree with Men's Fitness Magazine that Miami is the fattest city in America? So far, 49% of you disagree, 40% agree, and 12%, well, you're just not quite sure. You can also email us your comments, thoughts to interactive at NBC6.net. By the way, last year, Miami ranked seventh in the nation when it came to fatness. And the number one fittest city in America this year, Salt Lake City. Interesting. Back to you guys. What, you can float in the water there. <laughs> it's true. We are working for uh, working on a whole lot more of this for our next half hour. I'm just going to let get you finish Get the coffee, up. please All get right, the coffee. you finish. Here's Steve. The state legislature has passed a plan to cut millions of dollars from public education, and a lot of people are not happy about it. Some aren't eating because of it. 71 hours so far on this hunger strike. Good morning. A live report from Ronald Reagan High School is coming up. Bonnie is all new with Dr. Drew from Celebrity Rehab, and he gets a few sobering questions from Bonnie. We're going to put Dr. Drew to the test. Plus, from Ghost Whisper, Cameron Mannheim. Thanks, Bonnie. On NBC6 HD. G'day, I'm Flora the Dolphin. This weekend, ceramic tile on sale for just 69 cents a square foot, and we'll finance your purchase for up to 18 months with no interest and no payments. Ooh! You'll love your new floor. It's right here in black and white. Nothing fancy, just the facts. This coming Monday, the amazing Rooms to Go January sale and clearance will end. And with it will go the unique chance to get huge savings on a giant selection of clearance items. Big bargains on select new styles. Special savings on Cindy Crawford Home. Plus, you can take advantage of our incredible interest-free financing. So don't waste a moment. It's more clearance, more ways to save. Just hurry to the Rooms to Go January sale and clearance before it ends Monday night at 9 p.m. The future of minimally invasive heart and lung surgery is here and now at Mount Sinai Medical Center. Our techniques are always advancing. Physicians across the country and the world turn to Dr. Joseph Lamellis and the cardiothoracic team at Mount Sinai to learn the latest surgical innovations. You can turn to Mount Sinai to find the least invasive, most effective options in heart and lung surgery. Mount Sinai Medical Center, the future of medicine. 
Air Around the Clock has been committed to serving the South Florida community for more than 30 years, providing their customers with unparalleled customer service, quality products at competitive prices, and the expertise that only comes with experience. From installation to repairs and maintenance, trust Air Around the Clock with all your air conditioning needs. Buy a Ream High Efficiency Air Conditioning System and defer your payments up to one year. Call Air Around the Clock at 954-741-1033 today. There are a lot of questions you need to ask yourself when buying a new car. Is leasing or financing still available? Is it dependable? How good is the resale value? Fortunately, we have the answer to all of these. The best overall value in its class. The Civic. Honda. Simple. Lease a 2009 Honda Civic for $189 a month for well-qualified customers. smart routine with the under 300 calorie egg white flatbreads from Dunkin Donuts you can do it America runs on Dunkin get an egg white flatbread for only $1.99 when you buy a medium hot coffee hello mates I'm Flora for dolphin carpet and tile this weekend genuine hardwood on sale just $2.99 a square foot Ooh! hurry into dolphin carpet and tile mm, you'll love your new floor Next all new Martha, the next Martha must have revealed. Then you know him from such blockbusters as A Knight's Tale and The Da Vinci Code. British actor Paul Bettany is here. Next Martha. On NBC6 HD. NBC6 Weather Plus is always with you. Chief Meteorologist Paul Diano and the Weather Plus team, only on NBC6 HD. From South Florida's news leader. This is Today in South Florida on NBC6 HD. And good Thursday morning to you. It is January the 15th, 2009. Time now, 631. Good morning. I'm Bob Mayer. I'm Pam Giganti. Thanks for joining us. Cool start to the day, as was promised. <laughs> Let's turn things over to meteorologist Trina Robinson, who has a look at the forecast. Hey, Trina. Hey there, Pam. Hey there, Bob. And hey there to all of you. And we're kicking off some cool weather. We've got a big front coming in tonight. That front uh, will be the first of several pushes of cold air. Ooh, camera pushing, too. <laughs> that was pretty uh, nifty. Well. Wow. They're just making sure I'm awake. I'm awake. Uh, anyway, this is a long holiday weekend because, of course, the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday is on Monday. His actual birthday today is today. You guys really want to weird me out, don't you? <laughs> All right, I'm already weird. You want to finish me off? All right, let's look at the satellite picture. Yeah, we have a big cold front coming in. We could see some 40s tonight, so as the kids get up tomorrow morning, make sure they have uh, probably not even just a sweater, but a jacket. They'll shed it later on in the day because then we'll get up into uh, the low 70s, high 60s, but there will be 40s tonight, uh, and I don't think we'll see frost. That'll stay Collier County and northward. It'll still be chilly on Friday, and the winds will pick up, so so we are in for some big changes in the forecast today up to 72 under partly cloudy skies and still cooler than usual. Time for your traffic time to get the head out of the bed and get on the roads. Here is Roxanne. Thanks so much, Trina. Good morning to you. 632 is the time, and it's Thursday morning. There's nothing much going on, so it might as well be Dance Party Thursday because, again, accident-free in Dave Broward and in Monroe. Here we have at the 836, there's your eastbound commute right near Milam Dairy Road. That's Northwest 72nd Avenue. Of course, you have this volume here in this area, also near 57th, Lejeune. That's 42nd, so you pretty much have that steady volume all the way down to the, the MacArthur to 95. The on-ramps there, Northwest 17th. Westbound, of course, moving well. Wouldn't you rather be commuting there this morning? It's like a live look, Chopper. Six up in the air, traveling northbound over the turnpike, passing sample. We're going to hop on 595. See how that's moving? But right here in this area, your southbound and your northbound commute is moving well. We had reports of an earlier earlier vehicle blocking the ramp, the on ramp to 95 northbound from Sunrise Boulevard. Again, that is in the clear, and uh, nothing much going on here in that area. Again, northbound and southbound on the turnpike near Sunrise, moving well. Again, accident free in Dade Broward and Monroe. So great time for you to be on the road. That's the latest on your roads and your weather. Now back to your news. 
we're not finished yet. That's the message from state lawmakers as they approve additional deep cuts to try and balance the state budget. Meantime, South Florida parents and teachers are taking matters into their own hands, protesting in big ways and small to draw attention to cuts in education spending. Steve Litz is live from Ronald Reagan High School in Doral, where two moms are going to extremes to make that point. Hey, Steve. Bob, good morning. The problem is there's been a $2.4 billion deficit at the state level, and yesterday the legislature did approve a plan to fill that hole, and they are cutting millions of dollars in public education, and people are not happy about it, Bob. You see outside Ronald Reagan High School here in Doral, two mothers, they're staging a hunger protest. They're on their 71st hour. This is a quiet protest. There are louder ones, too. While state lawmakers slashed education funding in Tallahassee, parents and students and other education advocates screamed outside the school board building in Miami-Dade County. They're protesting the budget cuts at the state level. This is not a good idea and that we really do need to look at the future for Florida and for all citizens, for our businesses, for our economy, and we need to do what's right for the future of our state. It affects me because I have a grandchild in school. And these budget cuts are going to affect him and his classmates. The plan to cut the approximate $2.5 billion state deficit includes slashing $466 million from public education. Teacher bonuses would be cut by about $11 million. That specifically involves teachers with national board certification. And one non-education related cut would be a reduction in tourism advertising. Two mothers are staging a hunger strike outside Ronald Reagan High School in Doral to protest the education cuts. And at the rally, students showed off their artwork and their musical talents to drive home the importance of adequate public school funding. It's really important. It's what I do after school and like, it's really productive. I know a lot of kids enjoy this stuff. I want to make this their life. People are vocal in Miami-Dade County and the same up in Broward. A little later this morning, teachers in Broward will get together. They will protest cuts in their county. That's going to happen in Tamarack. Florida Governor Charlie Crist has said he will veto that specific item relative to the teacher bonuses. He has to sign that budget or veto it by January 29th. We're live in Doral this morning. I'm Steve Litz today in South Florida. All right, Steve, thanks. A group of bold bandits seems get more brazen, seems to get more brazen by the day, following a string of high-end robberies at electronic stores. A group of masked men smashed a car into a high-end Gucci store in Coral Gables and got away with thousands of dollars worth of goods. And police believe this same group of men may have done this before. Here's Amara Sohn with the details. Here they are, a group of eight to ten men dressed for the cold and covered up for the burglary. After casing out the high-end Gucci store, they make their move with a dark green infinity like this one. One of the vehicles backed into the Gucci store. It happened at the village of Merrick Park at 6 o'clock Wednesday morning. $80,000 worth of Gucci purses, wallets, and more gone. The group loading into a total of five cars, including the Infinity, a light Ford Expedition, and two Nissan Maximas. The smash and grab triggered the alarm, and Coral Gables police almost caught up with two of the cars. Followed them up to and through I-95, uh, where that vehicle was constantly making contact with other vehicles that were on the roadway. They got away, at least for now. The suspects M.O. the same at this Comp USA in Fort Lauderdale last Friday, with the group of 10 using their cars to back into the store. Then on Monday, the same smash and grab style burglary at Port Electronics nearby. The suspects making off with tens of thousands of dollars worth of stuff. So are these cases connected? That I don't know. Detectives are looking into it, while some shoppers at Merrick Park are hoping for more security. It is bad people all over. So we need more police forces. The only thing that I see wrong with this mall is that it's very open yeah. and I don't see enough patrol cars going in and out of it. So if any of those guys on the surveillance photos look familiar to you, the number to call Miami Day Crime Stoppers 305-471-TIPS. In Coral Gables, Amrosone for today in South Florida. And thanks, Amra. New today, the Sunshine State sets another housing record, and it's nothing to brag about. 2008 was a disastrous year for home foreclosures. Year-end totals are now in, and South Florida ranks among the hardest hit in the country. 
According to industry source RealtyTrack, Florida ranks second in the nation in foreclosures with a total of 385,000 homes. Only Nevada ranked higher. In Florida, that's nearly one out of every 22 homes going into foreclosure last year. Locally, Broward had a worse rate. More than 47,000 homes in foreclosure. That's about one in every 17 homes. In Miami-Dade, the number of foreclosures up to nearly 50,000. That's about one in 20. Things a little better in Monroe, about one in every 33 homes in foreclosure. In all, 2.3 million homes in the U.S. went into foreclosure last year. Well, she has been laid to rest, but the search for the driver who killed a child in a hit-and-run crash is far from over today. Flyers were handed out in the area of Southwest 149th Avenue and 80th Street in Kendall yesterday. That's where 11-year-old Ashley Valdez was hit by a pickup truck on Thursday after she was dropped off by the school bus. So far, the driver has not been identified. Some lucky students will be getting an up-close and personal trip to our nation's capital next week. As part of the Close Up program, several dozen South Florida students will be headed to D.C. for a week-long event, including the inaugural, to learn about the capital and government. With just days until the inauguration of its first African-American president, we spoke with some lucky students from Archbishop McCarthy High School who are getting the chance to witness this historic event firsthand. I'm really excited that I get to go because this is something that's going to be in my grandchildren's history books and they get to say, hey, my grandmother was there and just history in the making. So I had a lot of friends that were for him and they were like, oh, you're so lucky you're going to see him. And I was like, yeah, hopefully if I'm not covered by the four million people that are going to be there. <laughs> Well, in all, 37 students from Archbishop McCarthy High will be making this trip to Washington. To be selected, they must be a junior or senior, have good grades, and pay a fee of about $2,500. And speaking of students ready to witness history, the Terravella High School band is chopping it off to play for the president. The haircuttery in Carl Springs hosting a haircut-a-thon last night. Proceeds benefited the band's trip to D.C. to play in the inauguration. As so far, the band's collected about $110,000, but they're about $40,000 short, and time is running out. NBC6 is the one to watch inauguration day. We will have complete coverage from Washington next Tuesday, January the 20th, beginning at 5 a.m. right here on Today in South Florida. 20 minutes now before 7 o'clock. Trina back with weather in just three. Right now, Roxy with the traffic. And good morning to you. Another live look at I-75 at Miramar Parkway, right outside the windows here at NBC6. Live look from our eastern financial camera. We are still accident-free here in Broward County. Nice commute for you. Wherever you're traveling this morning, have a complete check on your commute that's coming up in just a couple minutes. Good morning, South Florida. Can you imagine getting paid a six-figure salary to snorkel and sunbathe? Well, it could happen. I'll explain in my website of the day. We'll be right back. Everyone in the office knows about Dwight and Angela. Hmm? Everyone except her fiancé. I mean, eventually, he'll figure it out. When their kids have giant heads and beet-stained teeth. Tonight, the truth will be told. Angela said she was going to tell him. She's just not ready. Is she crazy in bed? Yeah, stop. How what? So? And this will be resolved the office way. I will fight you. Excellent idea. A duel, I say. The Office returns new tonight. Same time and in the same location. On NBC. South Motors Honda must break all sales records with new Accords or Odyssey. Just $188 a month. Striving to be number one by making you number one. South Motors. These mountain types sell. It's better in the Bahamas. Romance all the day. All the highways for the lazy days. All the nights the people play. You're $200 closer to a Bahamas vacation. Details at Bahamas.com slash go. Restrictions apply. Hi, I'm Eddie D'Amelio, owner of Eddie D'Amelio's Collision Experts. We're family-owned and operated business, and I've been serving South Florida for over 20 years. I want to welcome you to my state-of-the-art collision center with over 20 certified technicians offering quality service and fine attention to detail. Remember, if you want rollout red carpet service, choose Eddie D'Amelio's Collision Experts. Remember, if you've been in a car accident, it's your car, it's your choice. Choose Eddie D'Amelio's Collision Experts. Celine Dion Taking Chances World Tour is here. Friday, 
Friday, January 23rd, American Airlines Arena. And Friday, January 30th, Bank Atlantic Center. Vocals of extraordinary power. Reserved sea tickets are on sale now. Celine Dion. Celine Dion, live. Ready to see a more perfect you? Ask about Smart Lipo Laser Liposuction from Dr. Steve Simmerberg. Smart Lipo melts away fat and tightens your skin. There's no anesthesia, no downtime, and it's FDA approved. Smart Lipo Laser Liposuction is so easy, patients can drive to and from the office. Many patients interested in liposuction are turned off by the aggressive nature, the downtime, and the general anesthesia. For these patients, I recommend the smarter alternative. No downtime, no anesthesia, Smart Lipo Laser Liposuction. South Motors Honda is your source for 2.9% financing on all certified used Hondas. All models on sale. Striving to be number one by making you number one. South Motors. Be smart and drive south. And now, meteorologist Trina Robinson with NBC6 Weather Plus, South Florida's first high-definition forecast. Well, we take you to the Wild West. Uh, this is the Midwest, and look at the snow. Uh, the snow would be okay, but the cold temperatures are just mind-numbing. Temperatures below zero in parts of Minnesota all day yesterday, almost for like a 24-hour period. Right there, you got minus 11. It has just been so frosty and so frigid that we thank goodness that we are here in South Florida. Uh, won't be so much a sunny South Florida today as we take a view from outside, but we will see. What is wrong with that camera? I, I know, I think it's trying to attack me, attack of the crazy cam. So anyway, that's our view from Mikosuke, and we got some pretty decent looking skies out there. We are gonna have a cold front come in. That cold front is going to bring in some cooler air, actually cold air. Let's call it cold for South Florida standards because tonight we will be in the 40s in some areas, 50s in other areas. We will see cloud cover today accompanying that front. The front gets in here late tonight into tomorrow, and when it leaves, it will leave behind some cool air. So uh, expect those 40s tonight, particularly in the western suburbs and the inland sections of Broward and Miami-Dade. Uh, coastal areas and the Keys will be a little bit warmer. Friday, we stay on the chilly side and the winds pick up, and the weekend, we get a reinforcing shot of cool air, so we won't be as cold, but I think Friday night will also see some low temperatures. 72 degrees is where we're going for that high temp, and that is cooler than usual. Normal high, a couple of degrees higher. We have dropped off over the past couple of hours. We started out in the 60s this morning at about 4 a.m. Now we're at 59 in Miami, 58 in Fort Lauderdale. So with a strong front punching its way through, of course, we could see even cooler temperatures. We're at 56 in Kendall, 56 in Miccosukee. So get ready for the 40s tonight and maybe some 50s around the area. So it is going to be a cool one. Put the kids in the sweaters and the jackets tomorrow morning. And Roxy and Pam will be in their boots and sweaters. That's a for certain thing. Well, minus 12 in Minneapolis right now. Can you imagine that? Uh, thank goodness we live in Florida. So next cold front getting in here tonight. And again, it will bring in some very cool, dry air behind the front. The weekend, not as chilly, but the overnight lows will still stay in the 50s. Check them out. So we're going to be in kind of a cooler pattern for the next several days. Now to the coolest chick around, Miss Roxy Vargas. Hey, Roxy. Hey, Trina, thanks so much. Good morning to you. Coming up on 647 Thursday morning. Take a look at this volume southbound on 75. We haven't even hit 7 a.m. and pretty heavy ride for you for traveling into downtown Miami. In part due to an accident, it is southbound 95, way south of here, right on the approach to the 112. That's the airport expressway. We also have a northbound accident reported uh, right just uh, out of the Golden Glades right at 441. But we do have plenty of northbound volume as well from downtown Miami up to the Golden Glades. That ride about 15 minutes and about 18 minutes heading south from this point down to the 112. And of course, on the approach to the airport expressway, the 112, you'll definitely be tapping your brakes. If you're heading eastbound on the 826, that's the Palmetto. We do have an accident right before the Golden Glades at Northwest 27th Avenue. Uh, but a crawling here on the crawl meadow or the slow meadow, right? The 826 right at 122nd Street. As you continue southbound passing 103rd and South River Drive in Okeechobee, you'll also ride your brakes there all the way down to the 836. So heading south from the big point, from the big curve rather, excuse me, passing the 75 on ramps and all the way down to the 836. You're right at this time about 18 minutes, 20 minutes if you're heading down to the Don Shula. That's the latest on Maya. And over to Kristen Kelly now with more on your roads.
Good morning, South Florida. Taking a look outside right now, 595 east and westbound. As you can see here, traffic on your eastbound commute. That's the traffic moving from the right of your screen to the left. Right now, packed as you're headed in between Southwest 136th Avenue. It looks like all the way down to the turnpike. As you approach University Drive there, it looks like a vehicle has pulled off to the side, causing minor onlooker delays, we might add. It's not blocking the roadway. Oh, there they go now as I talk about them. As you're making your way from West and down to the airport, your ride right now taking you about 30 minutes. Westbound, you have that long-term construction as you enter onto I-75 southbound. That's blocking the right lane. Let's take a look. I-95 north and southbound right around Griffin Road. You can see here traffic also picking up, making your way from 595 down to the Golden Glades. That ride right now going to take you about 18 minutes. As you can see, we're fixing our cameras. The sun is coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy your accident-free roadways in Broward County. That's the latest on your traffic and weather together. Now, back to your news. Kristen, thank you. It is 649. Time right now to take a look at our top stories this morning. Well, and that is where Israeli rocket fire has damaged uh, the United Nations headquarters in Gaza City. You're looking at the live picture right now of the scene. You can still see black smoke to the right of your screen where the attack occurred early this morning. At least three people hurt. The U.N. chief is expressing outrage over the incident. Israel quickly responding, saying the shelling was a, quote, grave mistake. More than a thousand Palestinians have been killed since the Israeli offensive began more than two weeks ago. Despite protests by parents, teachers and students, more cuts are coming to Florida's classrooms. The state legislature voted to fix the $2.6 billion budget deficit and education will once again be impacted. Cuts will include $466 million in school spending and $11 million in a cut to teacher bonus, a teacher bonus plan. The tourism budget has also been cut and traffic fines will be increased. Well, according to industry source Realty Track, Florida ranks second in the country now in foreclosures with a total of 385,000 homes in 08. Only Nevada ranked higher in Florida. That's nearly one of every 22 homes going into foreclosure in 08. If you're still in the market for your dream job, this may be the one for you. That's right. Imagine getting paid to snorkel and sunbathe, then share your experiences with the world. Here's Joe Carter with more on that. Wow, what a job. Yeah, sounds pretty good, right? Well, this dream job pays really well, too. $105,000 for just six months of work. Australia's tourism department wants to pay that lucky someone a six-figure six salary to live in an oceanfront mansion and explore everything the Great Barrier Reef has to offer. Now, to apply for this dream job, you need to go to a website, islandreefjob.com. And if you are lucky enough to be hired for this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, your day-to-day -day requirements, take in the sun, the sand, the snorkel, and then at the end of the day, you create a video blog for the tourism department to use. Now, there is a catch you have to give up the job and go back to your real job after six months. Well, so many people have been wanting to learn more about this dream job that the website's actually been crashing a lot over the last few days. I just jumped online a few minutes ago. It appears to be doing just fine now. But if you're having any problems later in the day, that's probably why. Now, if you missed the web address, you can always find it on my webpage, nbc6.net forward slash Carter's Clicks. Guys? Thank you, Joe. Well, could the key to better, younger-looking skin be in your jeans? You mean your... Jeans with a G, yes, that's yes, your yes, blue jeans, yeah. jeans with a J. Tonight at 11, the NBC6 CIU reveals how a new all-female group of prominent South Florida doctors but is trying to unlock the genetic key to smoother skin. Why do some folks have skin problems and others don't? Yeah, that's and, a skin problem, all right. <laughs> and what new treatments could there be out there to help out? It's all new at 11. NBC6 Weather Plus Doppler Radar is brought to you by the Miccosukee Tribe of Indians of Florida. Today in South Florida is brought to you in part by Sprint. Get more done with Nextel Direct Connect. Try not to miss the Bonnie Hunt Show today at 3 on NBC6 HD. You're going to have some fun. Next week, one man in one moment will change history. And today will be there. The inauguration of Barack Obama. Join today live from Washington, Monday and Tuesday, only on NBC. Hello, mates. I'm Flora the Dolphin for Dolphin Carpet and Tile. This weekend, laminate wood flooring on sale for just 99 cents a square foot. Hurry into Dolphin Carpet and Tile. Mmm, you'll love your new floor. All right, class, let's button it. Becker. Here. Callahan. Callahan. Delivery confirmation on Callahan. 
Drop them off at 815. Gymnasium. No, sir. No Callahan. Always. No Callahan. Just a freshman. Thank you. No emails from his parents. Drivers, I need a 20 on Callahan. <laughs> Got him. Reroute him straight to detention. Get more done now with the new BlackBerry Curve. The only BlackBerry Curve with Nextel Direct Connect. There's a reason some things are made just for kids. Like Miami Children's Hospital. It's the only freestanding hospital in South Florida dedicated exclusively to children. From routine checkups to the most complex cases, Miami Children's Hospital is a perfect fit. Hello, mates. I'm Flora the Dolphin for Dolphin Carpet and Tile. This weekend, Stainmaster Carpet on sale for just $2.49 a square foot installed. Hurry in to Dolphin Carpet and Tile. You'll love your new floor. So you don't have any tickets, but you still want to watch History in Style? Tonight at 7, we'll take you to one of the premier inauguration watch parties in South Florida, and it won't cost you a thing. Watch South Florida's only source for news at 7 o'clock. From Jennifer, an incredible $2.99 dual reclining sofa. Just $2.99. That's right, $2.99. A dual reclining sofa. Stylishly affordable and only at Jennifer. Morning, boys. Hey, Rainbow. Hello, Rainbow. What? Did you get breakfast this morning? Yeah, I'm doing a special cereal diet. Why don't you try a Jimmy Dean Delight sandwich? I shouldn't. You should. Turkey sausage. Whole grain muffin. Mmm, it's good. Yeah, and look, your color's coming back already. Wow. Yeah, everybody's colorful and happy. I'm getting out of here. Jimmy Dean delights. One third fewer calories, half the fat. Jimmy Dean, shine on. Canyon, redefining luxury living in Boynton Beach. Ultra spacious new homes and the ultimate lifestyle from the mid 300s. Take advantage of new price reductions on inventory homes. Canyon by GL Homes, an unbeatable location close to shopping, top-rated schools, and more. Visit eight new decorated models from the mid-300s on Lions Road, south of Boynton Beach Boulevard. Call 888-858-0101 or go to glhomes.com. Get any new 2008 Suzuki Grand Vitara XL7, SX4 Sedan, and SX4 Sport. And qualified buyers can get financed interest free. Interest -free. At Hillsdale Suzuki, Northwest 56th Street and 27th Avenue, or 5355 South University Drive. Hey, good morning to you. Chopper 6 just turned west onto the 836. It looks like we're approaching Lejeune. There's Miami International Airport there at the top of your screen. We were just over the Palmetto. We do have an accident, by the way, right before you get onto the Golden Glades. It is reported right at 27th and a southbound accident on 95 reported right before the 112, the airport expressway. So you'll experience some volume there in addition to the normal traffic pattern you have every morning heading south on 95. How would you like a cafe con leche with a tostada right about now? How did you know that, Bob? Bob, you got to say cafe con leche. Cafe con leche. Con leche. Yeah. Are you oh making a run? He read my mind. I know. I think. I guess he is. Oh, you are? I was... Right on, Bob. He was reading my All Facebook right. status. Yeah, you guys get that <laughs> well, you know what? Thumbs. And bring hot chocolate tomorrow <laughs> okay. because it's going to be rather nippy out there. Right. Yeah, we're going to have some cold weather tonight. We're going to have 40s tonight in some areas, upper 50s in others, and the cold weather kind of sticks around for the next couple of days. Daytime highs will be in the 60s and 70s, so it's not like you're going to mm -hmm. freeze all day long, but the right. kids need sweaters tomorrow so morning. So it's a right. good time to take a few days off. Oh, yeah. Ooh, you going to take a few days, days off? Sure, why not? Yeah, now that the weather's going to be <laughs> okay. great. Well, go to Chicago. They've had nine days of no, consecutive thank you. snow. There was a guy, <laughs> there was a guy wow. on Nightly last night uh -huh. in one of those cold places like Chicago oh, or New York. And he, and, oh, Oh, just said, miserable. Something about those orange juice drinking whiny Floridians <laughs> because they were talking about how it had dipped a little bit. beating up on us. But then he <laughs> laughs. What is yeah. that? Yeah. I'm Leah is not hip. I'm sick of this. Then he laughs and he says, I'm going down there. Yeah, well, if we let him in. Hey, by the way, I did this really great interview with Joe, and it's on his page, Carter's Clicks. Oh, you got to yeah, check it out. Check it out. You're looking oh, good and blue today. Nice. Nice. like that Joe. shirt. Right. Thanks for watching. Bye. Nice. <laughs> Thank you for watching NBC6 HD. Join Bob Mayer, Trina Robinson, Kelly Craig, and Roxanne Vargas right after the Today Show for South Florida Today. And for news 24 hours a day, visit us on NBC6.net.